Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> As they said, my name is Jeff. It's G-E-O-F-F. -F. It's kind of like saying Bond, James Bond, but way lamer. <laughs> yeah, at parties, he gets to brag about having a license to kill. All I get to talk about is how everybody reads my driver's license and thinks it still says G-Off. <laughs> it's true. A country with British English spelling, and you guys still get it wrong all the time. Or, I say my name is Jeff, and they write down J-E-F-F. -F. And then I realized, it's probably because I'm American. They hear this smooth, sexy, not at all arrogantly loud accent think, I bet he spells his name as Jeff with a J. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Still G off. <laughs> I thought, when I moved here, though, I thought this would be my place. A new home where I could just say the name Jeff and everybody would get it. I was so giddy when I got off the plane. Took a sweet, you know, a deep breath of that sweet New Zealand air. <sighs> now, somebody just farted, but it was a New Zealand <laughs> fart. It was okay. The smell of the room. <laughs> You know, I stood at the airport, got up the board of security, walked up to the customs agent, I slid him a passport, takes my passport, looks at it, and looks at me. He looks at my passport, and looks at me. He slides it back, and he only says one thing. Welcome to the country, G off. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, scary up here. You know, it's a first time comic. You don't know what parts of your set are gonna kill and slay the audience. You don't know what parts of your set are gonna bomb. Or, why violent acts of aggression are used as a basis of measurement for how much you people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, it was, maybe it was based on a true story. This just in, uh, man tells joke, kills audience. <laughs> Memorial services we held this Sunday. <laughs> this also just in, man tells joke. When the audience doesn't laugh, he says I'm dying up here. Comedy strikes again. <laughs> Breaking news. Man continues bit, despite there being no reason to do so. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, I'm a bit nervous up here. But I mean, what about you guys, especially you in the front row? Oof, fucking courage. I mean, do you realize when the MC walked out and looked down at you, you realized you'd be the show for the first five minutes? Or anybody else feel a little awkward? Kind of like, you know, a comedian just started talking to you, and you alone, and you're starting to think, why is he looking at me? There's like so many other tables he could possibly be talking to right now. He just keeps staring, it's getting pretty weird. Yeah, I never do that to anybody. I uh, did something else awkward recently, not counting this set. I, uh, I told somebody that they look like an actor that they've never heard of. What a riveting conversation that was. <laughs> If you've never been in that situation, here's pretty much how it goes. Hey, you look like that actor you've never heard of. Oh yeah? And then you stare at the ground in silence until one of you leaves. <laughs> but at least, you know, when somebody tells you they look like an actor, you can, you can look it up after. You've got some basis of measurement there. I had somebody come up to me and said, hey, you remind me of my friend Mark. And I didn't know what to say. <laughs> so I just said, no, I don't. <laughs> and I moved on with my day. But I mean, granted, I don't know this guy, Mark. I don't know anything about him. I've got no basis there. But if I do look like Mark, well, shit. They better tell their friend Mark to start putting down the brownies and losing some fucking weight, because this thing is not working out for either of us. We look like a substantially less wealthy and funny Ricky Gervais. <laughs> I, uh, as you can probably tell by now this set, I kind of hate awkward social situations, but I'm drawn to them. Kind of like fat doppelganger Mark and I are drawn to cake and cookies. Uh, there's, uh, there's one I find myself in all the time, maybe you see it too. You know, you're walking down a hallway, and you see your friend coming towards you. You give a little heads up, a little acknowledgement. But you do it like, way too soon? Now you've got 20 more meters to go. What the fuck are you doing? You just lock eyes and stare at them the entire way as you go until they pass, but no, you don't do that because that's creepy and you like having friends. And maybe you just get like really interested in the wallpaper all of a sudden. Oh, look at the wall. I just, the colors, the sheen. I've never, I should put this in my house. This is great. Not time pass. Maybe duck off in the side of the room and hope that when they walk by they don't see you standing there in the corner. I did this recently. Uh, 
I saw my friend coming towards me, gave me a little acknowledgement, a little heads up, and then I was like, you know, shit, we're too early again. So I started averting my gaze, you know, you, you act like you've got a, a, this deep thought all of a sudden, like, I haven't thought about that in the equation before, ooh, fuck it. He started like, staring and walking down, except my friend's like three meters tall. So from his perspective, I'm just staring at his dick the entire time. <laughs> he got up to me and he said, hey Jeff, how's it hanging? And I panicked. And I said, oh, yours is a bit to the right. <laughs> Thank you, that's about it. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna address, uh, this actually, there's no jokes written on this piece of paper. I meant to, uh, the owner told me to say if you've got a car with KCW uh, 592 license plate, it's probably being towed, but you know, don't worry about that. Just, just hang out now, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you.